Squad, what is up? It's your dude, Pino E here, and we've got a lot of news for today. Before I get into this weekend's releases, let's talk about early pairs and fakes and sellers who want your money. There's an interesting post up on Reddit that was sent to me a couple days ago, and I wasn't completely sure if I should post this up or not, mainly because I don't agree with all the points that were made. For example, just because I have a picture of a shoe and a rep seller sends the same pick, it does not in any way mean we use the same source for our product. But I thought about it and decided to post it up because of one picture. Now the thread creator is hilarious. You need to read the post and the new levels of troll that went down. But when he asked for a picture of the boost, this is what he got. Now if you've seen my video of real versus fake Yeezys or if you own a pair yourself, you'll know that the boost on authentic pairs is a dull white and the fakes have a shiny coating to them. Of course the people who sell early pairs are going to say, but this is a sample, that's how they come, you don't know nothing, you can't afford my products, you're hating, you're hating me because you want my plug and all that other stupid bullshit that they always throw around. In short, do what you want with your money, I don't care, but for those of you who want my advice, don't buy early samples from any of these insta frauds. I'm going to leave the link for this reddit thread below, have a read if you like, there's some funny shit in there. Now that we got that out of the way, here's what's dropping tomorrow, January 7th. The Shoe Gallery Adidas Climacool Flight 305 releases globally at select Adidas Originals retailers with a retail price of $150. Also releasing from Adidas, we have the Adidas Harden Volume 1 Home. You can find these on Adidas' website along with the foot sites and based on the Foot Locker map, you really shouldn't have much trouble getting these. Although Adidas drops are random, these will release at 7am Pacific or 10am Eastern on FootLocker.com and the retail price is $140. Speaking of shoes you shouldn't have any problem getting, we have the Nike Kobe AD. You could also find this pair releasing almost everywhere tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m. Eastern, including the sneakers app, and retail price for these Kobe's are $160. Kyrie has two pairs dropping tomorrow, and the first up are the Kyrie 3 Warning. Similar to the Kobe's, these should be a simple cop when they drop at 7 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m. Eastern. You could also find these on the sneakers app, and they're dropping for $120. This next pair won't be so easy and quantities are a little more limited. The Nike Kyrie 3 Samurai will be releasing exclusive to Foot Locker tomorrow. You can find them online and at select Foot Locker locations at 7 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m. Eastern and retail on these will also be $120. Although they released at some spots already, the Air Jordan 1 Rare Air and Max Orange officially drops tomorrow. The drop time is the same as the previous Nikes we spoke about and these will retail for $140. The Air Jordan 15 Stealth finally makes its appearance tomorrow and you don't have to worry about the quantities on these. A lot of pairs will be out there when they drop tomorrow at 7 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m. Eastern and you can find your pair on the sneakers app or pretty much anywhere that sells Jordan brand. The cost on these is set at $190. And the last pair releasing tomorrow are the Air Jordan 31 Black Toe. You know the time, 7 a.m. on the west and 10 a.m. on the east and these do appear to be a limited release. If you want them, they will be available on the foot sites along with the sneakers app and retail price is $185. Let's move over to sneaker news and start things off with a look at two newly announced silhouettes by Puma. The Puma Ignite Limitless High Tech and Extreme High Tech are designed with multiple technical aspects yet stylish enough for everyday wear. The footwear boasts 3M reflectivity on the heel and tongue, a PU sealed toe cap to keep the water out, and a midfoot cage reinforced with Kevlar protective backing. For enhanced comfort, the Ignite foam midsole has been applied, providing the wearer with superior cushioning that disperses impact and optimal responsiveness and energy return. The protective stability cage and forefoot strap then offer enhanced support and four-way stretch neoprene clamshell construction equates to a dynamic fit with breathable upper materials. Both pairs will be releasing on January 12th at select Puma retailers and Puma.com. Next up, and also last up for Puma, we have the Stamped Puma 4.0 pack. This pack includes three pairs of the Clyde in a luxurious construction made of a premium perforated suede. If you like this look, you have a choice of light grey, black, and soft pink, and they all sit on tonal outsoles. The release date for these is set for January 13th. Up next, we got today's shitty model. 
The Japanese label Beams teamed up with Reebok to bring us an updated look on the Workout Low silhouette. The shoe features the Workout Low, but Beams has decided to throw a removable shroud on the shoe, along with Reebok and Beams branding inserts that slide into the branding window on the upper. I'll tell you a story. When I was in high school, grade 9 and grade 8 to be exact, I had a math teacher from Sri Lanka, and every week he would call me up to his desk and ask me to show him the previous week's work. About once a month, he would look at me with a disgusting look on his face he'd grab my work he'd throw it across the room and he would tell me boy this is garbage get this out of my face I know the accent is bad but I feel the same way here let's move over to New Balance and next up on the screen we have a collaboration between Chinese retailer Deal renowned graffiti crew 400 ml and New Balance the shoe grabs its inspiration from the Tianjin clay figurine Zhang and it's constructed of leather and suede in tan black red and yellow this New Balance 997.5 silhouette also includes a very unique heel wrap featuring graffiti work by 400 ml the release will take place on January 15th exclusive to three Chinese retailers but will be followed by a larger release on January 16th at select New Balance retailers. Dope work New Balance. Over to Adidas and first up we have another look at the upcoming Adidas NMD City Sock 2. I showed these a couple days ago we spoke a little bit about them and there's not much more I could say at this time but since we now have more pictures I thought I'd share. I don't mind them I think they're okay let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Next up we have the Porsche Designs take on the Adidas Ultra Boost. The Porsche Design Adidas Ultra Boost Triple Black features an all-black upper with the Adidas Three Stripes cage replaced by some plastic thing, a black heel counter which has the Ultra Boost branding replaced with Porsche Design, and a black boost mid and outsole. I've never really liked anything from Porsche Designs and these aren't changing my mind. In 2016, we saw Adidas put out the Consortium Tour, which included collaborations with some of the world's biggest boutiques. And in 2017, Adidas will be changing things up with the Consortium Sneaker Exchange, pairing up retailers across different continents to work with the brand. The Sneaker Exchange concept will include A-Life, Aman Manier, Bodega, Colette, and Foot Patrol, Fruition, Invincible, Juice, Kith, Naked, Overkill, Packer, Slam Jam, Sneaker Boy, Sneakers and Stuff, Social Status, Soul Box, Undefeated, United Arrows and Sun, and Starch and Wish. I'll keep you all updated as pictures surface, but the first of the sneaker exchange is set to debut at Paris Fashion Week. This is great marketing by Adidas, compliments to them, and here's a quick look at the commercial they put out for this. A life or dope, the collaborative process. So, je suis un rappeur qui a une bonne idée. C'était vraiment cool de travailler avec les gens. Et donc, si vous voulez qu'il y ait un show, il faut qu'il y ait un show. So creative. Pancho, Ichi, Kunto, Fecho. Il y a un homme so. Basketball. Il y a un homme so. Detail, méthode. Bateau féminine, twist. Slum, Germany, respect. Ordinary tiger. Control, boost, DQT, city, and us. Luxury. Dando. Game, MD. Last up for Adidas, we have a picture of Kanye West spotted at his office in Calabasas sporting what people are calling the Yeezy Runner. We know that Adidas has already confirmed that Kanye West will get more freedom at Adidas and he'll be expanding into sportswear and other areas so it's quite possible that's what we are seeing here. The shoe doesn't seem to be any other existing model we know of and it surprisingly doesn't have any boost technology, at least exterior boost technology. Kanye knows whatever he wears will end up on blog sites so he definitely wasn't trying to hide these. Now I'm not too sure what to say of this pair, the picture quality isn't very good at all, it's actually quite bad and I usually like to hold my opinion and until we see better picks, but so far these look pretty awful. Make sure you stay tuned for more info. And speaking of awful shoes, let's move over to Nike and a look at one of Nike's most successful shoes ever, the Nike Monarch. If you're a Seahawks fan, then these are a must have for you since they are a Pete Carroll PE for his playoff game against the Lions. The shoe features an all white upper with accenting in Seahawk blue and green with the words always compete on the tongue sitting above the Seahawks graphic, which is also present inside the swoosh. What do you all think? Would you rock these Monarchs? Nike has been dropping luxurious versions of their models and the next to get this treatment is the low Nike Hyperdunk. Dressed in a black suede upper with neoprene collar but keeping its OG sole and heel counter, the shoe receives a makeover but remains classic at the same time. If you're a fan, look for them today at select Nike retailers for $130. 
If you're a fan of the Air Presto and you fit in women's sizes, heads up because this triple white colorway just released. It's a Presto, it's triple white, and it's available now at select Nike sportswear retailers like Titolo. And next up, we have the Air Force One. It seems Nike's making a push with this model, and we've seen some upcoming collaborations like the Vlone Air Force One, a possible off-white collab. And next up is this pair between a cold wall and Nike Lab. It's a simple look featuring gray suede and white leather with a cold wall logo on the tongue and the side of the forefoot. Aside from this pick, not much else is known right now, so stay tuned. And last up for today, we have two more pairs that we could add to the Chinese New Year list of releases. Nike Sportswear is ready to celebrate Chinese New Year with two styles of the Air Force One that tie in Jade Stone elements. Jade traditionally signifies the 35th anniversary of marriage, and it also represents power and wealth, with the stone itself being a symbol of status. 2017 is of course the 35th anniversary of the Air Force One, so the reference to the green stone fits nicely. The Nike Air Force One Low Ultra Nike and the Air Force One Upstep for Women features jade green heel tabs and gold trim on the tongue and lace dubre. Additionally, the men's version makes use of jade green sections on the sole, while the women's Upstep model opts for an opaque sole. Both pairs release exclusively in Asia later this month, but a global release will be following. And that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.